Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. <laughs> Feeding is done. We're, I'm on my way out to, of course, fluff the cow's hay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So I guess the traditional oh, thing to do, oh yeah, Chase is here again. The uh, traditional thing I guess you do on New Year's Eve is talk about what you're planning to do for the new year. Um, yeah, so let's talk about what we plan to do for the new year. Uh, this year is going to be a really interesting one, hopefully. Uh, and hopefully we will be establishing some new garden areas and maximizing growth. I really like to grow some more uh, grain type crops this year, but on a small level. So not something that we're gonna be out there using a tractor for, uh, but we'll see how that goes. If those go well, then maybe we can do it on a larger scale, oh, you know. Dream. Yeah, that's Cody's dream. He would love to be a grain farmer, but we'll see how that goes. I have some ideas uh, until I, have it really worked out on paper I'm not really gonna get too in depth with it uh, let's see what else do we plan to do this year Harley we plan to get huh yeah we plan to get more sheep we plan to get more ewes this year hopefully we'll be able to retain some of ours we've only ever had ram lambs but we we do have two more ewes bred this year than we did before so hopefully, and plus we have a different ram. So hopefully we'll get some more, some more ewes. I'm just watching the cows in amazement as they destroy. We'll get more goats. Goats, we'll only get more goats if we keep goats. Because daddy's not a fan of buying goats. So. Well, here's how we, how, here's how we fix it. All we have to do is like shear one of our sheep, grab the wool and tape it onto the goat. I don't think daddy's that dumb though. Although the hair sheep, but I'm not interested in hair sheep, but hair sheep, they do kind of look similar to goats. That might work, but no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna dupe daddy. And let's see. Yeah, so we have plans to get more cows. That's one big thing that we're gonna do this year. We plan to get three or four Highland heifers from the same place that we got Mr. Rebel from and they'll be uh, of different breeding of course so that we'll have our own breeding herd of Scottish Highlanders which I'm really really excited about Scottish Highlands I guess it's not Highlanders Highlanders are the awesome kilt wearing folk that live in Scotland right mm -hmm. those are Highlanders the cows are Scottish Highlands so it's the it's it's the it's the little it's the little things like that that um you know people get hung up on these days so i want to make sure that i say things correctly because i don't want the uh internet mob come take me away <laughs> well anyways real quick before we continue on the uh what does 2024 look like for the anarchy that is this place look like <laughs> anarchy. uh we're gonna go fluff this cow hay because literally these cows are killing me. I'll be right back. All right, that's done. So one big thing that I can definitely say for 2024 is that my leather work that was under the business name of double k leather works is officially i don't want to say closing that seems so final but it is i am going to close my double k leather works business and the reason for that is and this is super exciting i'm basically changing the name and the profile of the business so before I was focused on mainly horse tack and I would do other things as well, like dog collars and wallets and belts and stuff like that. But with my shift into homestead life, uh, and, and you know what, leather work is extremely useful when it comes to things like that as well. 
But there's other things that I enjoy doing, apparently, <laughs> and obviously. Uh, one of them is making aprons and such. Uh, another thing that we want to get into is processing wool from our sheep. And so what I've decided to do is rename my business from Double K Leatherworks to Anarchy Acres Farmstead Mercantile. And so that's the new, really exciting news for 2024. Uh, I'm going to be posting all types of things. Um, some of this stuff will be available on here on YouTube right under the, uh, right under this, what you're watching. Once we have reached that. Bio. Yeah, yeah, right above the bio. Yeah, it, right it's like in that bio. weird area between. So it, it's uh, once we've reached that level of monetization, which we're very, very close to, some of the merch will be available there. Uh, and I will probably be pus putting stuff on an Etsy shop. So I did some thinking about this. And the reason, I'm going to put you down because for some reason my arm is tired. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, so that's better. So yeah, that's that's the exciting news. We'll be doing, I'll have wallets and purses. We will still have dog collars and maybe a few horse things here and there, but we'll have all types of stuff from tassel caps in the winter to scarves made from our own sheep's wool, hopefully. That might take a while for us to learn how to process. But we'll have pinafore aprons and cute little egg aprons. And what other things? I mean, we're just going to have- when I, when I Probably when I get good at felting. Yeah, Chase has picked up needle felting, uh, making little felted characters out of wool. And he'll probably be making dryer balls too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, dryer balls. Um, and okay. just, what's that? Crocheting. Yeah, Harley's going to be offering some crocheted items. She has picked up crocheting and she's doing a Highlander right now. It's her first big project. So that's really, really fun to watch. But anyways, uh, getting back to it, I did have a website. And the website is... I don't know for what traffic I was getting on it it seemed not to be quite cost effective so I think we're gonna try Etsy first I will keep you guys posted what yeah well you know who's doing it hold on Uh-huh, I caught you. What are you looking at, Trouble? Well, now we know who the culprit is. I kind of assumed so much, and you didn't get to quite see it, but she hooked her horns in there and just lifted the whole thing right up. <laughs> well, lesson learned, I suppose. I thought that was the eagle. No. I'm not entirely sure that's not. And it might be a red tail. <clears throat> we have a bald eagle that flies around. But anyway, so that's our big news. I will keep you guys updated, you know, as to where you can find all of the things anarchy. Right? And it's pretty anarchy. exciting. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, we're, we're definitely excited to make some new things and make it homestead centric because, you know, that's what we do around here. Let's grab the pitchforks. So that is our what to look for in 2024. I know this was kind of a haphazard video, but uh, you know, that's just the way things go. My my mind, you know, thoughts go in and they get scrambled before they come back out. It's a squirrel moment. Anyways, I hope for everybody, all my friends here, that in 2024, you guys get everything that you have been wanting. And I hope that you work really 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 hard and have some goals and i hope that you achieve them all because it's important and if you guys have anything that you would like us to teach you in 2024 please comment those down below because i really do want this to be a learning channel right now it's more of a daily vlog here's what we're doing but i would love for this to be a learning channel that we can help you guys grow as well as while we're in the process of growing so let me know. Let me know what things you want to see in 2024. Let me know how you would like to see this channel grow because we're doing it. We are doing the thing. I mean, we're doing the dang on thing. We're just moving right along and we're taking you guys with us. So 
bye bye 2023 good riddance <laughs> hello 2024 i hope it's a good one guys i think 2024 is going to be real dang interesting but we'll be here together so we'll see you guys next year bye bye